good morning students in today's lecture we will discuss the solution of non homogeneous wave equation for n is equal to 1 so the problem is to find the solution of the initial value problem given by curl to u by curl t2 minus laplacian of u is equal to f in r cross open interval 0 to infinity r is the set of real numbers the initial conditions corresponding to t is equal to 0 are the value of u is 0 and the value of partial derivative of u with respect to t is 0 these are the initial conditions so this is the initial value problem for non homogeneous wave equation in one dimensions now to discuss its solution we will use d alambert's formula d alambert's formula gives us the solution of the initial value problem for homogeneous wave equation in one dimensions the initial value problem for homogeneous wave equation in one dimensions is curl to u by curl t2 minus laplacian of u is equal to 0 in r cross open interval 0 to infinity corresponding to t is equal to 0 the initial conditions are u is equal to g and partial derivative of u with respect to t is h the solution of this initial value problem is given by d alambert's formula which is u at the point x t is equal to half of the sum of the values of g at x plus t and x minus t plus half of the integral of h between the limits x minus t to x plus t now to find the solution of the given initial value problem we will apply d alambert's formula to the initial value problem corresponding to uh, the time belonging to the open interval as to infinity so in this case u will be the function of x t and s so the problem in this case to which we will apply d alambert's formula is curl to u by curl t2 which is the function of x t and s minus laplacian of u is equal to 0 in r cross open interval as to infinity and on r cross t is equal to s the initial conditions are the value of u is 0 and value of curl u by curl t is f which is a function of x and s now applying d alambert's formula to this problem from here we can see that here uh, in place of the function h we have the function f and g is 0 so the solution will become u which is the function of x t and s is equal to half of integral of f at the point y is between the limits x minus t minus s to x plus t minus s here in this formula t is replaced by t minus s because here t belongs to the open interval as to infinity so t minus s will belong to the open interval 0 to infinity now to find the solution of the initial value problem for non homogeneous wave equation we integrate the solution of this problem between the limits 0 to t so the function u which is the function of x and t and defined by the integral of this function between the limits 0 to t this will give us the solution of given initial value problem so putting the value of this solution here we get the value of u at x t is equal to half of integral from 0 to t of integral of f at y is between the limits x minus t minus s to x plus t minus s now 
let us substitute s is equal to t minus s dash so differentiating we get the value of ds which is given by negative of ds dash also when s is 0 from here s dash will be t and when s is t s dash will become 0 so let us substitute the value of s ds and these limits in the solution u so the solution of given initial value problem at xt becomes half of integral from t to 0 of integral x minus t plus the value of s is t minus s dash here also upper limit was x plus t minus s so that will become x plus t minus the value of s we have substituted here here we have function f at y comma s here we have substituted the value of s which is t minus s dash dy and ds is negative of ds dash now if we interchange these limits of integration so this negative sign uh, will be cancelled out so we get the value of u at the point xt is equal to half of integral 0 to t of the integral between the limits x minus s dash to x plus s dash of the function f at the point y comma t minus s dash now in this expression we can replace the variable s dash by s so finally we get the value of u at the point xt which is given by half of integral 0 to t of the integral of f at the point y comma t minus s between the limits x minus s to x plus s so this gives us the solution of the initial value problem for non homogeneous wave equation in one dimensions now in the next problem we will discuss the solution of non homogeneous wave equation in three dimensions means we are to find the solution of curl to u by curl t2 minus laplacian u of u is equal to f in the space r3 cross open interval 0 to infinity with the initial conditions at t is equal to 0 r the value of u is 0 and value of partial derivative of u with respect to t is 0 this is the initial value problem for non homogeneous wave equation in three dimensions so we again use the same trick first of all uh, we will find the solution of the initial value problem for homogeneous wave equation by using Kirchhoff formula and that formula we already discussed so by Kirchhoff formula the solution of the initial value problem for homogeneous wave equation in three dimensions homogeneous wave equation uh, in three dimensions is curl to u by curl t2 minus Laplacian of u is equal to 0 with the initial conditions here at t is equal to 0 r the value of u is g and value of partial derivative of u with respect to t is h so by Kirchhoff's formula the solution of this initial value problem is given by u at xt is equal to average of average of integral average integral of the function g at y plus dg at y dot y minus x plus t into h at y over the sphere with center x radius t here we will apply Kirchhoff's formula to the initial value problem when time belongs to the open interval as to infinity and the initial condition will be corresponding to t is equal to s so here the initial value problem to which we will apply Kirchhoff's formula is given by curl to u by curl t2 uh, which is a function of x t and s 
minus Laplacian of u is equal to 0 in R3 cross open interval s to infinity and when t is equal to s the initial conditions are the value of u is 0 and value of partial derivative of u with respect to t is f which is the function of x and s. Now applying Kirchhoff's formula for this initial value problem. The solution of this problem that will be the function of x, t and s which is given by the average integral of t minus s into f at y s over the sphere with center x and radius t minus s. Now the solution of the initial value problem which is given in the statement that is given by integrating this solution between the limits 0 to t. So this will give us the solution of the initial value problem for known homogeneous wave equation in three dimensions. Let us substitute the value of this u from here. So the value of u at x t is given by integral 0 to t of the average integral of t minus s into f at y s over the sphere with center x radius t minus s. Now let us convert this average integral into the simple integral by dividing by the surface area of this sphere. Surface area of this sphere in three dimensions that will be given by 4 pi into radius square. So that will be uh, 4 pi into t minus s whole square. Now 1 t minus s is cancelled out. So the value of u at the point x t is given by integral 0 to t 1 upon 4 pi into t minus s into the integral of f at the point y s over the sphere with center x radius t minus s. Now this 1 upon 4 pi can be taken outside of this integral. So the value of solution u is given by 1 upon 4 pi integral 0 to t integral of function f upon t minus s over the sphere with center x radius t minus s. Now let us substitute t minus s is equal to a new variable which we have denoted by r. Differentiating both sides, we get negative of ds is equal to dr. Now the corresponding limits of integration, when s is 0, r will be same as t. And when s is t, from here, r will be 0. So finally, substituting the values, the solution u at the point xt is given by 1 upon 4 pi integral t to 0, integral of f at the point y comma the value of s is t minus r over t minus s which is r over the sphere with center x radius r. Now we, if we interchange these limits the negative sign here that will become positive. So the value of u at x t is equal to 1 upon 4 pi integral 0 to t integral over the sphere with center x radius r of the function f at the point y comma t minus r upon r. Now because this y belongs to the sphere with center x radius r. So by definition the distance of point y from the center of the sphere that will be is equal to radius. So we can replace r by y minus x mod. So finally the solution becomes the value of u at the point x t is equal to 1 upon 4 pi integral over the ball with center x radius t of the function f at the point y comma t minus y minus x mod over y minus x mod. To convert this double integral into an integral over the ball we have used this formula. According to this formula, integral of a function f over a ball with center x radius t 
is equal to integral between the limits 0 to t of the integral of the function over the sphere with center x and radius s. So by using this formula, we have converted this double integral into an integral over the ball having center x radius t. So this gives us the solution of the initial value problem for non-homogeneous wave equation in three dimensions. Here in this expression, the integrand on the right hand side, this is called retarded potential. So this completes the solution.